Hello. We were invited to a wedding this last weekend and obviously had to um, get organised because it was uh, quite a distance from here and we needed to book bed and breakfast uh, accommodation, which I did a few months ago. And when I booked it, I checked the distance um, to the wedding venue and the venue was called Broadfield Court and I put it into Google Maps and it came up as seven miles. So I thought, that's fine, that'll do. Um, we can get a taxi back from there and one to the venue the following morning to pick up the car. So sorted. And fortunately, as it happened, I did think that we may need to book the taxi in advance. So rather than on the day, which we would have done normally, because it was so rural. I phoned them last week and told them where the venue was and asked for a taxi. And they said, oh, hang on, we'll just have to get your price for that, which I was a bit surprised at. And so she came back to me and she said, that would be £60. And I said, £60? I said, well, petrol hasn't gone up that much. It's only seven miles away. And she said, oh, no, no, Broadfield Court is 24 miles I'd clearly got things wrong. So we decided at that point that we wouldn't use the taxi service. And I went back to my internet and Google Maps and checked yet again. There were two Broadfield courts and the one that I had booked at, uh, that I had thought was where the wedding venue was, i.e. seven miles away, was actually sheltered accommodation. So, that's where we would have ended up had I not phoned the taxi company. And that would have been interesting, arriving at sheltered accommodation in all our wedding garb. Maybe they thought that it was probably our time to go there and would have taken us in. I don't know. But clearly, we would have been too late to travel the extra 17 miles for the, the uh, wedding reception. So I was thankful that I'd found that out at the time. And... As it happened, uh, my husband Keith got COVID and so on Friday we made the decision that uh, we couldn't go. But in the run up to the wedding, I was thinking about this wrong route that I take would have taken to get to the wedding, wedding venue and was thinking about the fact that God has given us a roadmap for life. He's given us, he gave us the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament to Moses. And then because we still couldn't get things right, he sent Jesus. And John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. And not only did Jesus show us the way, but dying on the cross, he took the burden of all that we've done wrong and opened the way to heaven for us. That's truly amazing. So not only did he show us the way by his actions and what he did, but he provided the way to heaven. We thought booking the B&B when we did was the right thing to do and the right path. But how wrong we were. We could have done with it a lot nearer the wedding venue. So many times we think we've got it right, don't we, in life? But it turns out we're on the wrong path. It could be that we are maybe know that we are socialising with the wrong people. It could be that we are determined to buy something that we can't afford. It could be that we're allowing too many distractions and too many excuses 
to keep us from reading God's word in the Bible and by having time with him in prayer. We need to seek God's will, not what is said or suggested by others or on the internet. Because Isaiah 58 verse 11 says, the Lord will guide you always. But we have to do, we have to allow him to do that through his Holy Spirit. It's easy, like us, we could have ended up at the wrong destination. But Jesus, if we do that, is waiting with open arms to welcome us back when we turn to him, when we get things wrong. By walking beside Jesus, reading the Bible and staying close to him, seeking him in prayer, we can avoid the wrong destination. <laughs>